Hello, good afternoon. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome on the show with me today. Thank you. The Essentials of Life show. Are you ready for this? Yes. Are you excited? I am. Because uh, we'll be asking you some questions. <laughs> so we want you to be excited about it. That's fine. <laughs> Welcome again. Can you please introduce yourself to us? Hello, viewers. My name is Shadia Rabiu. And what do you do? I am an occupational health advisor. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, so today on the show, um, we are going to be asking you about the pandemic. Hey, COVID-19, coronavirus. Unfortunately, the news recently has made it you know, obvious that the, the rate of increase is getting more higher. Um, what can you say about COVID-19 coronavirus? Well, um, it's, it's uh, a virus that, you know, it's been, it's been in our environment for, uh, let's just say, the year 2020. And um, there's still a lot, a lot of research ongoing regarding uh, the virus and how it's affecting us and what support we can get in terms of vaccine. But uh, we've been made to understand that it affects the lungs. The lungs. Yes. How scary is that? Very, very scary. <laughs> very, very scary. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Because you are an health specialist, um, could you please tell us how do you think um, the pandemic is actually affecting the world? There are, there are different ways to look at it. But the way I like, to, I like to look at it, which is incorporated into all aspects of our life, is our mental health. Hmm. Uh, so this this COVID has affected, or I'm not going to say affected, is affecting affecting us in terms of uh, financial because it's affecting the economy. That's the right. World. That's uh, right. It's affecting our mental health, and when it, when it affects our mental health, it has to do with every aspect of our lives hmm. because mental health is our emotional, That's psychological, right. That's and social right. well-being. And you, you, you can tell that um, this virus has actually affected a lot of people in that manner, absolutely, in that way. Absolutely. That's, that's so unfortunate. Yes, that's yes. unfortunate. So, okay, as we go on on the show, I just want you to tell our viewers, you know, because um, like you mentioned now, this COVID-19 has actually affected a lot of people, um, mental, their mental states. Okay, what can you say about COVID-19 and mental health? How does it relate to mental health? Okay, um, so the, the, the way I want us to look at it is uh, there's no complicated terms to create better understanding for this. Uh, in, uh, remember, with the current pandemic, yep. uh, we're spending a lot of time at home. Okay. You know, uh, especially remember when, when we had lockdown, uh, you know, people were, you were, a lot of people were forced to work from home. Because, That's right. To be honest, if many people had the choice, uh, not many people would we choose mm -hmm. to work from home. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we had to make changes in our lifestyle, you know, such as um, working from home, financial strain. I know people have stress in terms of their, their, their home, that where they live, because, mm. uh, you know, you're li losing finances in terms of... That's uh, right, you know, that's right. Their jobs. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's social isolation as well. Uh, people become uh, less active. In terms of the gym and exercise places where we're closed down mm -hmm. um, so you don't get access to our family and friends a lot of time and those are the things remember I said in the beginning that uh, mental health is our emotional that's psychological, right that's and right social well-being so all of them put together uh, you know make either we have a good mental health or poor mental health mm. so um, that is how this has affected us. There's been a lot of changes in our lives and, and how we live mm -hmm. and the economy, the society at large. So that's, that's uh, one way to look at how, how, um, how it's, it's uh, affecting us. So, and remember, the, the COVID-19 has also reduces access to health services. To health services. Remember, uh, you know, in this country, we have mm. the NHS that, you know, if anything happens, you go through your GP, that's or you right. Go and see your GP, or you go to the hospital. That's but right. During COVID nineteen, uh, all of us were encouraged and and you know advised strongly to stay at home. That's right. And even if you feel there's something wrong with you, that's not COVID related. Mm. You have to deal with it 
until you know to avoid the risk of getting contaminated with the, with the virus that's right so um other people that have other conditions other health problems were not able to have access to the health services to the health services um because uh, i i'm actually i know i'm aware of uh, what you've just said because um in the past few months um we've tried you know to go to the practice to see the gp mm. you know for one thing or the other but we've been restricted we were not allowed to come to uh, the practice for face to face um assessment mm. which is really really it's a bit concerned is it Welcome to Food Africa. Food Africa Limited is an Afro-Caribbean grocery and food shop. Food Africa is a one-stop shop for all your fresh and frozen vegetables like yam, cassava, cocoa yam, plantain, ugubita leaf, and many more. Frozen fish and meats like beef, goat, tilapia, chicken, and lots more. For your authentic Afro-Caribbean food and grocery sauce, then choose Food Africa. We sell most lines of common and exotic food, household goods, takeaways, and groceries. We sell the whole community around the Midlands and beyond. Food Afrique is the best place for you. Locate us at 4 Afrique Square, Peterborough, PE2, 7JP, UK. Your authentic food source, Food Afrique. Call us on 0173-368-5758 or visit www.foodafric.com. Opening time are as usual, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. from Mondays to Saturdays and 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Sundays. Food Afric, your authentic Afro-Caribbean food and grocery from sauce. Um, so you, you can imagine a lot of people that are unable to go and um, have a face-to-face -face assessment with their doctors. Mm -hmm. So they can't actually, they cannot assess them. They can't, um, you know. And when you put all of these things together, so mm. everything we've talked about in terms of the finance, in terms of your um, social activity, in yeah. terms of, you know, not having access to uh, health services, health services. Uh, you know, as, as we normally would, all of these things to put together will put stress because it will release a stress hormone mm. in our system mm. and then people will start experiencing poor mental health. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, sis. Um, thank you for staying with us on the show. Um, so going forward, I just want you to tell our viewers, how do you think um, this current pandemic has caused changes to people's mental health? Okay. Um, so with that, that kind of relates to what I said earlier on in terms of uh, changes that have happened in our lives, uh, which will influence our mental health. Okay. And don't forget, just put at the back of your mind uh, yeah. what, we, what we talked about in terms of uh, our mentality is kind of made of, uh, remember, it's made of our uh, emotional, psychological and social um, well-being. So um, when we talk about things that can make COVID uh, affect our mental health. So we're talking about um, things like housing insecurity. A lot of people have lost their homes. Mm. Uh, we're talking about, we've talked about reduced access to uh, health service. Uh, we've, we, we're also talking about concerns for yourself, friends and family. Yeah. Remember uh, that you probably have family members and friends that have underlying health conditions. That's which right. Which make it more difficult for them if they should get this, um, uh, this virus. So um, that's one thing that can put pressure on our mental health. Um, when we talk about uh, things like uh, shielding, shielding, you do know that a lot of people have been shielding. Mm. And most of them have come out of shielding. And because of this mental health impact, mm. um, people, even though people, I don't mean to have said that, you know, people can come out of shielding and go to their workplace mm. with some measures in place and guidelines for the employers to follow. 
a lot of people still don't want to come come out to go to work hmm. because they're still worried. Yeah, the because fear. Remember, the pandemic is still very much available. That's it's right. Still around. That's it's, right. It's not gone. Mm. So um, it's affecting people's mental health in that aspect that people find it difficult to go out, mm. uh, even though they've been they've been asked that. Okay, the, the general lockdown is is off. Mm. You can go out, but a lot of people still find it difficult to do that. Um, so we also talk about things like um, the news. That's one very, very big aspect of this pandemic. Mm. The news. Uh, it's what very, the very news carries. For yeah. us to listen to mm. the news. Mm. However, uh, it does as much good and as much damage to, to our mental health as well. Because when you do, you, it depends on where you hear, where you listen to the news as mm. well. Mm. Remember, there are websites and on people even spread news that are false. Oh, wow. Around, you know, about how this may. Uh, condition affects how this um, virus affects people. people so as a result of that it put pressure on people's mental health as well okay so the key point is that um a lot of news are out there that are false exactly. so the best thing for people to do is to make sure that they listen to the right news exactly oh yes perfect oh yes so that can actually reduce you know um how this covid would impact, impact on, on our health mental our health. mental health yes. in general Hello, welcome to Bazaar Competent Healthcare. At Bazaar, we provide professional home care services for you. When it comes to home care services, then choose Bazaar. Bazaar, delivering quality care with compassion and absolute commitment. Our services are as follows. Home care services, cleaning services, home office and houses, occupational health services, health and well-being talk. Our office is located at Seals B13, Image Plaza. 135 Eju Road, Lagos State, Nigeria. Call us on plus 234-081-3453-5275. Email us at bazaarcompetenthealthcare at gmail.com. Visit us at www.bazaar.com. Bazaar, your professional home care services with competent and absolute commitment. for staying with us now um, I would like you to tell the world how can we manage our mental health during this COVID-19 thank you very much that's a very uh, important aspect of all of this because it, it really would make sense if we talk about how this is affecting us and we don't talk about how we can manage it so uh, the first thing I'll say um, is connect with people connect with people and by that uh, I mean when you connect with people uh, it, it just means that keep in touch digitally and meeting up with people safely safely yeah so it's not just about meeting up it's about keeping in touch safely so you're 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 meeting up with somebody um, now say for example I'm meeting up with you we have to uh, take the right measure mm -hmm. uh, you know try to use the face mask yeah keep the social distance yeah um, effective hand washing if yeah touch anything uh, things like that so Making sure that we're meeting up safely, safely. because it, don't, remember, social aspect of our life keeps our mental health uh, right. good. That's so right. it's very, very important for us. Uh, and really, when we talk about digitally, don't forget to look after your well-being online. Online, because um, when we talk about uh, well-being online, staying safe online is very, very important. Okay. Uh, when we when we keep safe and getting the right balance between our online and offline, so. Don't forget, don't don't think because I've said digitally, you know, keeping in touch with people digitally, and then you're, you know, saying, yeah, I'm online, I'm on Facebook or whatever, I'm keeping in touch with friends and family, and I'm there 24-7 or long, longer than I should be. 
uh, or longer than healthy time mm. on the on the internet uh, can also be seen as um, impact, having pressure, putting pressure on our mental health as well. So basically, the right uh, appropriate word is just basically that having the right balance between our offline and, and online. online life, yeah, you know, okay. making sure that you're putting the right. Uh, spending the right amount of time, minimal amount of time online and offline. You're just not sitting there. And people that you live with, uh, make sure you have a healthy conversation with them. With them. You know, don't just spend so much time on, on the internet. Mm, and give yourself a, healthy, a break. That's right. Healthy time with family. That's well. right. That's right. So what other things do you think we can do, you know, to um, manage our mental health, you know, during this pandemic? Another thing that is very, very important is take care. We, we talked about news earlier. Um, that's that, 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 to be honest, in this pandemic, I, I feel that plays a huge aspect of it. Mm, you know, mm. uh, take care with news and information that you hear. Okay. We need okay. to be able to, uh, um, you know, the next point uh, in terms of our management is um, take care of news and information that we listen to. Okay. Uh, we, there, are, there are lots of news out there. We need to be able to pick and unpick. Mm. That's, that's what I'm looking pick for. Pick the best so one for you. Pick and unpick uh, in terms of uh, the news. We should definitely stay connected with current news. You know, it's very, mm. very important. But uh, we need to also take care of where we find our news. Mm. You know, there are trusted websites that we can go to. There's National National Health Service uh, website okay. where we can have uh, trusted uh, news. Uh, or what's going on mm -hmm. uh, so try to find where is reliable and reliable updates where okay. you can get reliable updates okay. you know try to uh, if, if you're not listening to a news anyway to mm. be honest and that news makes you feel uncomfortable right. you know you right. feel it's putting pressure on you uh, either on your mental health or you know you, you have some sort of negative change on how you feel when mm. you listen to certain news uh, either uh, that news makes you feel anxious makes you feel confused Okay. Or, you know, think about switching it off. Switching it off. Yes. Okay. Think about switching it off to limit where you, you know, what you, what you get from that. And by that, switching it off means switching off from the source. Okay. You know, stop listening to it and switching it off from your mind. Get yourself distracted. Do okay. something else. Okay. Uh, you know that can that can help. Social media is one area in terms of uh, news uh, that can help uh, to stay in touch with people. But it, it might also make you feel anxious mm. because remember there are lots of people out there That's who right. just put anything out there. Online. So when you listen to and you read what you know people put online, mm. you just you just need to just make sure that you know you're reading from the right source. So social media is one area that you know you have to be careful of. Um, also, be careful of what you share with friends and family, or with what friends and family also share with you. If you feel that your mental health isn't. Uh, able to you know to take certain news don't bother listening to it Correct. and avoid what people are posting uh you know a lot of people have a lot of worry and mm. they just put it online because they're worried mm. they put that that worry uh online and you know you you read it you and then you start feeling um feeling pressure in terms of your mental health um so consider taking a break okay and uh, limit how you use social media so by that, I mean be deliberate, be mm. very deliberate mm. about where you position yourself, Okay. you know, in a positive environment. So by that, just make sure that you position yourself in positive area, positive environment, okay. because positive environment brings positive energy mm. and also brings positive um, mental health. Mental well. health. Yeah. That's so, a very good one. That, so that's one. Another point uh, that we have to think about is uh, think about... So the next point that I'm going to talk about in terms of management is uh, for all of us to think about our diet and our hydration. Our diet and hydration. Very important. You know, um, it's very, very important uh, because th these two can also have impact on our mental health as well, uh, you know, on our, our, our pressure we feel in our mental health. So um, well, these changes in your routine, you know, remember a lot of people uh, are still at home. With, uh, we, I can't say that we're back to a normal routine now of how things were, mm. you know. So if you're at home, try to uh, think of what you eat mm. and, you know, have the right balance in terms of your diet and in terms of um, 
eating fruits and vegetable and keeping hydrated is very very important don't wait until you're thirsty before you before drink water. you drink water is the most uh is, is the most important one because it's a clear fluid mm. so try to uh get yourself um to you know drink water drink a lot so while you're keeping up with your diet and hydration make sure you're keeping um active than usual okay remember you're in the house mm -hmm. we'll talk about that in, in my in my next point but very very important that you know if possible try to eat regular meal okay. you know don't don't say because i'm not as active as i was i'm, I'm going to so i'm going to reduce my meal that, that will also have impact on your physical health that's right. so, so remember we're talking about mental health mm. but we also have to avoid things that will impact on our physical health as mm. well mm. so uh don't try don't 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 skip meal keep a right balance uh in terms of a diet uh drink drink water uh, as this uh will help in terms of your mood and your energy level okay thank you very much um that's really great thank you so much for that oh. so the next point is keep active Remember, I said earlier on the way when we talk about diet and hydration, we're going to talk about keeping active. It's a very important aspect of uh, research has proven that physical um, exercise, keeping active, uh, does not only help with our physical health, but it helps with our mental health as well. So, keeping active uh, is build um, activity, physical activity into your daily routine. Okay, you like what? Like what? So, say for example, you're in the house not necessarily having to go out because a lot of a lot of us uh, a lot of us talk about things like oh i have kids in the house it's difficult for me to go to the gym or to uh you know go for a run or something so try to if you have stairs in your house going up and down the stairs mm, is something okay uh, you know something that can help okay you know, there are options that you can that you can use uh, okay. like that and there are different options for different ages and different abilities to remember so okay. we have different ages and different abilities so and that so my age or my ability shouldn't be a barrier in terms of keeping, keeping active. active so um do so, you can i quickly check something with you mm. um jumping on the trampoline the kids trampoline does it mm. will it help at all yes it does okay as long as you know that that trampoline has uh you know can take the, the, capacity, the kind of weight, the, yeah. the capacity of the, of okay. the trampoline you just make sure that you know it has the right capacity mm -hmm. so we don't have any we avoid any accidents <laughs> in terms of that that's right so um so things we can do indoor uh includes cleaning okay yeah. cleaning of your home is okay. one thing that we can do uh dancing to music I'm dancing sure. exactly. wow that's wow. one form of keeping exercise uh we can you know keep active okay. in terms of uh that and I've, I've talked about um going up and down the stairs okay. it's, it's very important one very important aspect that a lot of people miss out is sitting less sitting less okay. so there's something called sedentary behavior uh so that when you sit for a prolonged period you also have um, impacts on your physical health, you know, okay. in terms of your lower limbs, upper limbs, your bowel, you know. So sitting less is very, very important. Try to move around, keep right, active is right. very, very important okay. in terms of uh, keeping active. So that's 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 about keeping active. Um, another point that I will probably drop lastly, uh, okay. so as not to waste your time, is uh, talk about sunlight, sunlight, and fresh hair. Okay, this really, really helps. Vitamin in terms D. Of, in terms of <laughs> yeah, in terms of vitamin D, but in terms of mental health, it does. Well. Okay. So, uh, bright nature into into your everyday life can benefit, um, you know, your both your mental health and your physical health. Okay. Uh, so, in terms of improving your mood, hmm. we can do that for okay. you. Uh, in terms of reducing, um, you know, feeling of stress or anger, okay, we can do that for you, and it can also make you feel more relaxed. More relaxed. So, yes. So, um, one way you can do, uh, you can do that is try to open your window. Okay. Let the fresh air come exactly. in. Exactly. And sunlight. Okay. And thank goodness we have, we have a lot of it of, of sunlight going on. Right, right now. In. Exactly. So, uh, sunlight is very, very important, you know, so open your window. If you have, uh, you know, it's easy access to your window, try to sit, sit there or just even look out. Okay. You know, through the window. Uh, that's, that's very important. Try to use the garden if you have garden. Okay. That is one place that you know mm. you can sit and relax and you know, uh, you know, um, get the most get, of the fresh yeah, air, exactly. Fresh air, uh, and very, very important mm. keep and grow plants. Grow plants, it's, it's very, very important, and not just grow plants 
in the garden. That, mm. That's not just what I mean. Okay. But indoor plants. As well. Yeah, exactly. It helps with oxygen and, you know, okay. things like that. So try to grow plants indoor, indoor as well. Those are the things that I feel that, you know, will help in terms of our mental health. Thank you very much. We really enjoyed um, all the answers you know that you've given to us and i believe um, a lot of people watching us now will pick one or two things you know um about how to manage their mental health during this pandemic sorry to cut you okay uh, one more thing that i just that just popped to my mind that i want to add to everything we've talked about is um so a lot of people are feeling pressured because of how this pandemic is affecting their mm. work mm. their so, work okay yes, their work life so um if you feel that you know you're feeling pressured or you're feeling worried or stressed in terms of your work either there's uncertainty around my job i'm mm. going to lose my job i think the, the best spell uh, the best thing to do with that is speak with your management Okay. Your work management, okay. let them know how you feel because speaking about how you feel also helps with our mental health. It does, you know, let them know how you feel, let them, you know, clear any any doubt or uncertainty, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that you might have. And if you feel that, you know, sp after, after speaking with people, speak with your, uh, your management or your family mm. hasn't helped you, I think ask your work management to refer you for occupational health service, okay? Because when they do that. They'll be able to assess you appropriately. That's and right. They'll, they'll be able to refer you to appropriate services that will help you to um, sustain your employment. Combination